Johnny Gonzalez really, if you like to put it quite bluntly, is the quiet man of boxing. He's not ostentatious, he's not flashy, he does, he's not prone to big statements in press conferences, very businesslike, very calm, very cool, very collected, somewhat introverted outside the ring. Inside the ring, he's the complete package, he's the real deal. He can fight, he can box, he's got a good strategist brain. Another pro against him is that he's 30 years old, he's had a lot of fights, a lot of experience. John has been uh, defeated, I think it's seven times in his career, so he knows what it's like to be defeated, and that is, he's benefited from those defeats, he's learned patience. He's obviously a consummate professional and also a, a superb triple world champion. Bantam, super bantam, and uh, now featherweight, and so a great deal of experience. He trained mostly with uh, his father uh, and has done very well with his father, but after losing Nishioka, uh, by knockout, he decided it was time to have a change in training, and uh, the obvious choice was Ignacio Nacho Berestein, who's also based here in Mexico City. Nacho has got more than 40 years' experience as a trainer. Nacho is um, he's a specialist. He looks at fighters, sees their strengths, sees their weaknesses, sees where things can be improved upon. John is a student of boxing. He will listen, and that's important. Um, as a saying, it's uh, never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. And Johnny does take on what Ignacio Berestein is teaching him. He is adaptable, he is versatile, he doesn't think he knows it all. And he's learned a great deal in the time that he's been, the three, slightly over three years he's been with Ignacio Berestein. The proof of the pudding, so to speak, is there's been 12 fights and 12 victories. He's not lost since he's been with Berestein. He's become a world champion in a third category. He's defended that championship successfully now four times. Three knockouts, one victory on points. The way that in Johnny's life to success and, and money was through, uh, through boxing, through fighting. And uh, no one's given him anything. But he does retain, even now, a hunger. A hunger and a determination. You can see that in the way that champions train. Champions always put that extra effort, extra time, extra strength, and you can see the determination. His father, so the rumor goes, that when he was, uh, he was, uh, his birth was being registered, his father panicked and spelt his name wrong. His name is not the conventional spelling of Johnny, it's J-H-O-N-N-Y. But uh, perhaps it was fate, because he has got an H-bomb in both hands, especially the left hook. Yes,